But Dell, he can rebound the basketball. Had 18 rebounds a month ago wow. against L.A. They're excited about him. He can do a little bit of everything right there. Just goes right down the floor to the front of the rim. Reverse. Here comes Gordon. Giddy has it. Giddy. Coast to coast. Darius Baisley has checked in for the Thunder. And how did SGA get all the way to the cup? Baisley missed his last three badly. This one is is to be able to do an interview and get all your sponsors in. <laughs> he did. Monster Energy, <laughs> Toyota, all the guys back at the shop. That it, it takes a certain skill set. Williams. That stops the bleeding. And we still have two and a half remaining in our second quarter. It's nice hang and hit by Gilgis Alexander. This guy's a professional scorer. Oh, every player, every, everybody's got nagging here, a soreness there. You need guys available just in case a guy's feeling it on a certain night. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? This is a 19 year old. Every Hornet starter now that shoots threes have made one. You only got a dozen is Mason. Wow. I like Gilgis Alexander. He was going two for one. Thunder, an opportunity. Giddy. Oh. Yep, that's the future right there for Oklahoma. Kelly Oubre. Ahead of the pack, Wiggins. Understanding we got to get a good look. Ashley got that wonderful interview at the half. He said it's all about the hair. Gilgis Alexander with the left hand. Another guy that can score in the paint either hand. He's a side. Oh, goodness. Look at this. Aaron Wiggins fell down, and Rozier can't make it hurt. Ty Jerome from the hip. That's the last time the Hornets were six games over. Oh. Robinson Earl finds Williams. Hornets got another block shot. That was PJ got a finger on it. And then when you look down in the floor, Del, they've all got one thing in common. They're long and, and look athletic and bouncy. You know? That's a bitch cut. Trey Mann. Yo, what do you think his nickname is? What's up, Thunder fans? Welcome back to the channel. And I uh, hope you like the highlights because that's really all there is so far, only two minutes worth, because we're not winning games. That's four or five losses in a row, and we need to make some serious moves before the trade deadline comes, if we want to make an impact, because lately we're just not doing it. It's not happening. Um, today's game was a bit of a disappointment. Josh Giddy played well, Shea played well, Lou Dort was pretty rough, um, basically was rough, real rough. I think we need to make some moves, um, and I'm going to say it, we need to get rid of Derek Favors, we need to get rid of Darius Baisley. We need to start finding a real center and a real power forward. Um, I can't wait for Roby to come back because Roby can have that sort of impact as a power forward. But we need to get someone that can actually play the true center role. And I'm saying we had Moses Brown last year. Moses Brown fits right into that slot and we can get him for quite cheap because he's not even playing a game over at the Mavs. I think he's still at the Mavs, I'm not sure. And either way, I want our team to compete. I want to start winning games. I'm, I'm sick of losing and I want to get back up there. Let's get out there, let's trade for a centre, and let's find something better. Positive notes, Josh Giddy shot pretty well today. Shea shot pretty well. Um, I'm still a big fan of our bench. Uh, K Will, he's dominating. Trey Mann's getting quite, uh, quite better. Wiggins is getting some minutes, but he's not really producing much at the moment, but I'm sure he will grow. And things are looking brighter. We just need to start making our shots because we shot horrible today. I think it was like 37% from the field. That's not good. Three-point shot is obviously bad as usual. Um, rebounding, we lost the rebounding battle by like 10 rebounds. So we just need to get need to get better. We need to start making our shots. We need to rebound and we need to play with more confidence. We need to get out there next, next, uh, next game with a lot more confidence and start having fun again. All right, that's it for me. If you agree with what I said, comment below. We, who you guys think we need to go for through the trade deadline and uh yeah hit that like button subscribe for more content and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next game peace